Hi and welcome back to another video. Today I'm reviewing the Miele Blizzard CX-1 Powerline Vacuum Cleaner. Now this is a beautiful piece of kit and I've been absolutely astonished at how nice it actually looks compared to a lot of the other vacuum cleaners on the market. This is Miele's first attempt in the market with a bagless cleaner and it seems to be an absolute winner in my books. The suction power is absolutely amazing but also as well the fact that it does keep all of that dirt and absolutely everything that it picks up in that canister. Now as we're going to see within this video is some of the features that the actual vacuum cleaner has and some of the problems that I've come across over the time that I've had to review this. So let's get started with the video. So let's get started with some of the features that this vacuum cleaner has. So as we can see here on the front of the vacuum cleaner we have a few buttons. So we've got our power button, We've got our comfort recall button, so this is to pull back the actual power cord. So I just press this once and it rewinds it automatically. I also as well have a controllable dial to control the actual amount of suck power. Um, so I can go from maybe a curtain setting, so right through to hard floor suction power. So on the front here we also as well have a comfort clean button. And I'll go into a little bit more detail about that when we get towards the filter stage. So we have a full sleek body, it's absolutely beautiful, glossy, it kind of looks like there's a bit of glass on the front here because of the motif that's stored behind it, it really really sets it off nicely, especially with the chrome logo and the, the product's name. So down at the back we've actually got quite a lot going on, so let's have a look at the first piece which is our storage compartment for all the dirt that it catches. Again this is a bagless solution, first one that Mila's done. Now that's quite surprising to be honest because they've concentrated very much on bagged services and I've been very very impressed with their bagged uh, vacuum cleaners so far. Now testing this one I've been very impressed with how good the actual suction power is but also as well at actually how much it picks up. So to open it all we do is we lift the handle here, very simple to do, and all we then do is just pull it out. It's really really simple to do, really easy. Now the great thing about this is that all the components are easily removable and easily cleaned. So firstly what we can do is we can open up part of the vortex compartment which allows you to start cleaning down some of them areas. Now that's one filter within this system, there's actually multiple of these filters. Again this is a mesh filter as part of the vortex cleaning service. Now we also as well have a compartment that allows you to open up and empty out the dirt. So if I empty up that now, so all I do is I press that button and immediately it pops open. Probably best to do it over a bin instead of where I've just done it. However, within here we have also as well a compartment whereby we can open up another filter and this is a fine mesh filter. I mean I pride themselves on the fact that every clean is the best clean. So from here very easy to pop back in, just slides into place, clicks in, and again all we need to do is just close that compartment. All of the seals on all of these are rubberized, and again making sure that you get the maximum amount of that suction power, but also as well minimizing the amount of particles that are lost. Okay, so let's pop this back together, very very simple, and easily stored back into the vacuum. Okay, so I'm going to go into the next part which is behind the actual storage compartment for the dirt and that's the filtration system. So this uses a comfort clean system and what it has is got a removable filter service and this is a HEPA filter. So as I say, this uses the comfort clean system and what it does is it, once it's powered off, what it will do is if it senses that the filter needs cleaning or there's a blockage, it will automatically cycle this cog which basically flicks off any of the dirt within the filter and pushes that back into the compartment where your storage of your dirt is. Now again you can manually do this by pressing the comfort clean button as I mentioned earlier and that will automatically turn this cog. Now when it comes to cleaning it's very very simple, the instructions are on the filter, all we do is we turn the handle and immediately that comes out. Now what me and I say to do is before you actually turn that cog the best thing to do is run some water into this hole here. Now that's going to minimise the dirt that comes immediately off as soon as you open that. Just give it a little swill around and then basically open up over a sink just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere 
and basically empty out the contents that's within that one. And from here, run warm water across all of these fibers. That will make sure that that is fully clean. These are replaceable, but the great thing about Mila is they've given you this to, to allow you to clean it manually yourself and extend the lifetime of the filtration system. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the other items on the back of the blizzard. Let's just pop this back in, lock that into place, and pop the rear compartment in. And then all we've got on the back left to look at is a couple of the tools. We've got a flat tool here, lovely little rubberized little catchers on the bottom, but also as well, really, really hardy, really strong plastic. So you're gonna be able to get some really good clean out of that. Again, these all store straight onto the back, really easy, clip into place. And again, we've got a small crevice tool, like most of the Milas, absolutely amazing, really great for getting into them small areas where you can't reach. So very easy to put back into place, just pop it onto the side and click into place. The last thing on the back is the power cord. The power cord is a nice long power cord. It does go on for a while. It is 6.5 meters long, so a nice long cord. And again, with the comfort recall system, it's a one press button just to pull that plug straight back in. Absolutely brilliant, really, really handy. But again, from Mila, really, really solid. Again, these vacuum cleaners have been tested up to 20 years worth of use. So you know you're getting something really strong and hardy that's gonna last you a lifetime. Okay, so let's take a look at it in action. So one of the other tools that we've got on this is we've got a brush system that's already built into the hose mechanism. So all we need to do is just pop that off and press the button at the top and immediately comes out the brush. Now this is absolutely brilliant. The fact that I've got a brilliant handle to actually use anyway, but also as well the brush inbuilt doesn't mean that I need to go looking for that tool anywhere. So again, I can get straight into cleaning up that dirt. But again, very easy to pop back into place and get on with using my extension pole if I want to do some additional cleaning with that. So not that I'm sponsored, but you can get oats from anywhere, but it's an absolutely brilliant one to test as a product. And what you can do is you can get some small particulates out of this and some much larger particulates. So let's see it in action on this rug. Again, it's quite a large pile, but also as well, I've got some hardwood right next to me as well. So let's give it a go on that. Okay, so this is on the minimum setting, just using the brush tool here. Now what I can see immediately is that that's taken most of it up, but there's still some smaller particulates left in the rug. So that can take everything out of a large pile of a rug. Again, let's see it on some hard wood and see how it performs. Okay, so we've got plenty of oats down on the, on the bottom here, so we're gonna give it a go on our hardwood setting. So again, we've got the hardwood there instead of our rugs, and let's just see how that picks up. So as we can see here, it's picked up all of the oats that we put down, and I'm very impressed at the fact that it's taken absolutely everything into the back of the compartment, and actually, it hasn't actually taken up too much room within there. So again, you could do a, quite a lot of cleaning on this, even before you hit the maximum on here, so quite impressive to be honest. So the tool that I've been using to do the work on the rug and the hard floor is the Mila Ecotech Plus head. Now this is provided as part of the kit that you purchase. And again, really, really solid, really nice and flexible, but also as well, it's got some really great wheels on the back, so it allows some really easy gliding movement on there. And the other great thing is that this is compatible with rugs and hard floors, just with a simple switch. Again, really, really easily activated by your foot. And again, all this does is it takes the brush head and it pops it out just by the click of the switch. And again, really, really hardy brushes 
And again, we've also as well got some really soft ones there as well, just to get them little bits of particulates. So in summary, how do I feel about the Mila Blizzard CX-1 vacuum cleaner? I think to be honest, I think I'm very impressed with the fact that they've dipped their toe into the market with bagless cleaners, and I think they've done a remarkable job. I do think there are a couple of little cons that come on this, and they are mostly in regards to the fact that when you are using the pole, the hose attachment, there is no way of using an automatic or a button fed um, release system. So if you get your tool stuck on a hard surface or a rug and you want to release it quickly, most vacuum cleaners have a little expel button or little switch that you can use. And that seems to be missing on this top head. Now, unfortunately, that was a bit of a letdown from my point of view. As we could see on the video, as I'm cleaning this rug, sometimes it does get stuck. And that's because the suction power on this is so good. Now, the fact is, is that I don't really want to be going and changing these settings um, on the fly. I want to just have my consistency on my clean. So that would have been an absolute awesome feature to have had up here. So the other thing is, is that the cable is actually quite limited. So at only 6.5 meters, it does mean that you're gonna have to keep changing that plug as you move from room to room. That's not a major detraction from the actual product, but I do think that given the fact that some of the other models have a much longer cable, I think maybe that that could have been possible. So some of the things that I really like about this product, I think it looks absolutely beautiful. I mean, the fact that all these sleek lines, the gloss finish, the glass look at the front, I think it looks absolutely amazing. So one of the other things I really like about it is the fact that it fits into this beautiful little neat little package that you can fit inside your, say, little cupboard or under stairs cupboard or behind a door. And I think that's really, really handy for somebody who wants a really great vacuum cleaner but doesn't really have the room to pop a much larger vacuum cleaner. So that's really, really great from that point of view. Another one of the things that I really like about Mila is the fact that these are tested up to 20 years worth of use. So I know that I'm getting something that's really hardy, but also as well is gonna last me a long time. And I think that also as well stands true for the fact that this is new technology to Mila. And we know the fact that they do their due diligence when it comes to testing, that I can be really confident in the fact of buying something that's new on the market, but knowing that it's not going to fail immediately. So really, really great work on that, Mila. So as always, more than happy to answer any questions you may have. Just pop them in the comments section down below and I'll immediately answer anything that you may have and look forward to seeing you in another video.